this is Angel with CatScan, and you're watching The Inside Job. Each episode will get you up close and personal with some of the best automotive builders in the industry, who all use genuine CatScan leather. So buckle up, and let's go. My wife and I lost our son a couple years ago to a uh, rare bone disease, and uh, he was a real gearhead. He loved cars, so I thought, what better to do to, than to build a car that I know he would have loved for me to have, and my wife and I just take it around the country and show it and share his story with people. So this is a dedication to this your son? This is a dedication to my son. We're at the 2009 SEMA show and we're at the Air Zenith booth with Chris Davis. He's going to tell us about this awesome build. Hi Chris, how are you? Pretty good. Glad to be here. Alright, tell us about, about this build. Uh, well, I we just wanted to take a brand new Challenger and give it a little bit of a retro look but still keep a modern edge to it. And this is what we got. First of all, this is a Teco supercharger, twin screw supercharger. We have a few uh, billet technology pieces in to help polish out the motor a little bit. And also a Teco strut tower brace that's designed to go over the supercharger with their K&N air system. I laid out the paint job in Photoshop and approached Terry McConnell, his goes by the wizard. Uh, he's been doing flame jobs since I was a kid and wasn't even old enough to drive, so I knew he was the guy I wanted to go to. So. I told him pretty much what I wanted and he did an excellent job, spent a lot of time on it. It's a little scary putting a flame on a Challenger, but with the new new age tribal look to it, it pulled it off pretty well. The wheels are custom billet aluminum wheels by Pro Wheels. Uh, could not find a wheel that would go with this car until I hooked up with these guys and this blade wheel really sets off the paint. It complements the design of the car. I wanted a high impact look, but not over the top. A still clean look, so that's that's why the car is the way it is right now. I'm running Toyo Proxxas four tires. Uh, the wheels I went with a 20 inch in the front and a 22 in the back to give more of that street look, pro street look. All right, let's talk about the the inside, the interior. Okay. What do you got there? We have. Custom skins from Cat Skin. Uh, we color matched the, the nav and shifter bezels red just to bring some, a splash of color in, which the Cat Skins did that as well. So that's pretty much that's pretty much original yeah, inside. Yeah. All right, tell us about this. This is crazy looking. Okay, uh, we spent a lot of time at car shows, and I thought, why not have a car with a little bit of a tailgate effect? So. We came in, uh, we incorporated the air suspension components, which by the way is made by Universal Air Suspension. Uh, the tanks, compressors are all uh, mounted in boxes, backlit. We have a Kenwood DVD deck on one side and a Wii system over here. That's really cool. So it's pretty much a full tailgating experience. Yeah. Uh, got a 23 inch wide screen. So. Do you and your wife ever stop and like play this game? All the time. This, really? this car is popular. It shows with the wives. The wives will congregate back here and bowl and tennis and just have a good time yeah, while the guys are awesome. talking shop. So that's great. It's a fun car all the way around. Yeah, it's not only for kids. It's also for adults. That's right. Everybody enjoys it. And, you know, that's another thing about the car. I built it to share it with everyone. Uh, it's just good to get out and meet people, a lot of good people in the car world, and that's another good reason to be at SEMA. All right, Chris, I know there's a lot of um, uh, heart and soul that came into this build, and, and you know, this is a tribute to your son that's no longer with us, but he's, he's there in spirit. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, uh, he was, a, again, he was a Mopar guy, you know, mostly because I was, and uh, he had a long illness in his life, and uh, when he finally lost that battle, 
I just needed something to fill the void in my life. And uh, I thought, what better to do than to make a car with his name on it? And then everywhere I went, I could share his story. He was a great kid. Uh, what was his name? His name was Christopher. Uh, his nickname's Topher. Okay. That's why the dedication under the hood. Uh, he had, uh, he was a quadriplegic, basically Christopher Reeves type injury for four years and never complained once. Oh. And uh, he couldn't speak for four years. With a, uh, he was on a ventilator for four years. And uh, just a great kid. And there's one thing about going through a catastrophic event in your life is, you know, as a parent, you're supposed to teach your children ways of life where my son taught me more than I ever taught him. I mean, you grow up fast when you face those kind of adversities in life, and I would never, I'd do it again. I mean, you don't want your children to suffer, but you don't have answers, but uh, again, this car was put together for him, for my wife and I to show it people. And uh, it was totally, this car was totally 100% built by me and my friend Jerry Orchid. Couldn't have done it without him. And uh, in my garage in my house. So wow. that makes it even more special to me right. that this was done turning a wrench in my house, which can show anyone out there that if you want to do something bad enough, read the directions right <laughs> <laughs> it's a great car well Chris thank you so much for showing us this awesome build that's good to be here and I'm, I love sharing the car with everyone and uh, thanks again to Cat Skin for providing the interior to this car it really complements the entire package well thank you this is Angel and I've got you covered <laughs>